Hello everyone, my name is Kester Dixon and this is a video tutorial showing how to link Access 2007 to Microsoft SQL Server 2008. Now first off, we're going to go ahead and launch Microsoft SQL Server. I click in Start, Programs, SQL Server, in our case it's the R2 version. And you're going to click SQL Server Management Studio. Now, upon launching, the first dialog that's going to appear, you're going to keep everything as default. So the server type, you're going to keep it as database engine and authentication as Windows authentication. But you're going to have to make note of the server name. That's the most important thing here. Now, the server name is required in order to link, to create a link between Access and the SQL Server. So this is very important for you to make note of it. So now to make things easier for ourselves, we're going to just select the server name and copy it. Keep it on the clipboard and just go ahead and connect. Now once connected, we're going to go ahead and create a database. Now on the left hand pane, you're going to see a folder named databases. You're going to go ahead and right click on that. Click new database. And once this new dialog has opened, you're going to create a name for the database. Now, this database can be named anything you want, but in our case, we're going to create a database for a college. All right, so we're going to name the database, the database as such, college. Go ahead and click OK. Okay. Once it's created, you're going to expand the databases folder by clicking the plus sign to the left of the folder. And you're going to see the college database that we just created listed. You're going to expand it again. And we're going down to tables folder. The tables folder, and you're going to right click on it and click new table. Okay, so we're going to create a table within the college database. Alright, so now we're going to create some fields for this table. Alright, so let's create an ID field of a numeric data type. I'm gonna create a first name field, F name for short, using a varchar varchar of 20. A last name field, L name for short also with a Vacha data type of 20 and sex of the student a Vacha of attention alright so we're gonna stick with those four fields and we're gonna go ahead and save the table by clicking the save icon at the top once you click that you're gonna be prompted to specify a name for the table. So this is of course a table for students within the college. So we're going to name it as such. We're going to name it students. And we're going to click OK. Alright. Once that is done, we're just going to make sure that everything was saved properly. So we're going to close this window here. Going back into the tables folder, we're going to expand it. And here we see the students table that we just saved. We're going to right click on it and click edit top 200 rows all right so now we can see the four fields we created id f name l name and sex all of which are empty okay so this is just a simple verification that all the fields that we made was saved correctly and we can now go ahead and proceed so you can go ahead and close the sql server management studio now and we're now going to launch Access 2007. Now the procedures we're gonna go ahead with in Access 2007 require administrative privileges. So that means that Access will have to be launched in administrator mode. Now the easiest way to do that would be to hold down the shift key. Alright, so you're gonna hold down the shift key on the keyboard and right click on Access 2007 and click run as administrator simple as that alright so once the program has been launched you're going to click on new database 
on the bottom right we're going to name the database you can leave it as as is or you can name it whatever you like in my case i'm going to just name it assignment one you can also save it to another location if you please but we're going to leave it at the default location i'm going to click create once that is done we're going to click the external data tab at the top we're going to click on more in the import section and you're going to click odbc database all right so the first window that pops up is going to ask you to aim if you would like to import the source data into a new table within access or if you would like to link the data source by creating a link table now in our case we're going to select the second option because we actually want to link directly to the sql server as opposed to importing data from the server into access itself all right so in order to create an actual link between the two which is the purpose of this tutorial we're going to choose the second option click ok once that is done we're going to click on machine data source we're going to click new So here we're going to select the user data source and click next. We're going to browse through the list here. Select SQL Server. Next. This, this is just a simple listing of all the options we choose. Finish. Alright, so in this window we are going to set a name for the data source. So we're going to name it. Let's just name it SQL College. Alright, and a description of the data source. I'm just gonna name it, say it's a college database. Alright, so remember earlier in the tutorial when I said the most important thing to make a note of would be the um would be the server name. Well, here's where it comes into play. We're going to have to input the same server name that we used in our, for our SQL server not to connect. We're going to use that same server name here. So luckily we copied it to our clipboard to make things easier and we're just going to click paste. And we're just going to click next. Alright, so we're going to keep everything here as default, Windows Authentication. Next. You're gonna click check change the default database now by default access tries to connect to the master database right by default so we're not gonna try connecting to the master database we want to connect to the database we created earlier so in the drop down menu you're gonna find the database that we created college okay click next All right so all of the options here could be kept as default. Let's go ahead and click finish. And we're going to test the data source to make sure everything that we have a proper connection between the database and SQL. So you're going to just test the data source. It's going to attempt to connect. And if all the steps were adhered to, you should see test completed successfully appear here, here in the window. Right, so once that is done, you can click OK, click OK again. Right, so you're going to select the, the data source from the list that we created. SQL College, remember that's the name that we specified for the data source. You're going to click that and click OK. Once that is done, we're going to select the table that we created within the SQL Server, which is students. I'm going to click that, click OK, and the fields that we also created, we're going to select them all by holding on the shift key and selecting them one by one, clicking OK again, and here on the left hand pane, again you should be seeing the table listed here, simply so going to double click it, and we should see the four fields that we created within the SQL Server. All right, so here we're just gonna create a few, a couple sample uh, students for the database. So for ID, just gonna put 
random series of numbers for F name let's use my name same for last name and sex as male of course and so let's create a secondary user second um not user secondary student second student um let's name her Jane um Jane Webb and Jane of course is female okay I see that's good enough all right so once you're finished inputting the information into the fields you're gonna go ahead and save the project clicking save right and once you click save the data should be saved within the database itself so in order to check that in order to verify that we're going to open back the um, SQL management studio clicking start r2 management studio connect going to do some procedure again browse the databases college database tables folder again we're going to right click on the students database and edit top 200 rows and voila the information that we inputted in access 2007 has been transferred over into the survey itself and yeah now resides within the silver all right so as you can see we now have a proper link between access 2007 and SPL silver 2008 thank you very much for watching and see you again soon